the last few days we've been reading through the author's note and the preface. Now we are going to be reading the first chapter. Introduction in his company. Who is he? He is who is on the cover of the book, Pramukh Swami Maharaj, who was a spiritual teacher to many, many people. And a lot of people look up to him with much love. And so this lovely devotee of his, known as Yogi Trivedi, has documented some encounters with him to bring us all some peace. So without further ado, let us read our first words. We take our first steps and have our first fall on the same day. As we stop and fall some more in life, we soon realize that walking and falling go hand in hand as does getting back up. We also learn that we need someone to help us up, to comfort us, to support us while we find our balance before walking again and to guide us in the right direction. Consistent, trustworthy walking partners are rare in life. Typically, this unwavering support comes from those who celebrated our first steps, those who lifted us up after that first fall and the dozens of others that followed. A mother, a sibling, a guardian, a friend, or a guru may be this supportive presence in our lives. This book is about one such exemplary human who witnessed the first steps and falls of three generations within and without his community and helped them up time and time again. This is the story of His Holiness, Pramukh Swami Maharaj, a guru, guide, and friend to millions, a humanly divine walking partner. I see that you have a question, triple zero. You're welcome to ask, but I will just finish reading our section today. I will, I'm told that I took my first steps and first fall in front of His Holiness Pramukh Swami Maharaj, also known as Swami Shri, during a sabha, a spiritual assembly, in a small mandir on Bound Street in Flushing, New York. This BAPS Sri Swami Narayan Mandir temple was one of the first Hindu houses of worship in North America and just steps away from the renowned Ganesha temple of the Hindu Temple Society of North America. Between these two temples and the sidewalk connecting them on Bound Street, thousands of Hindu American children learn to take their quote-unquote first steps. My story was similar to theirs but different in that a senior sadhu monk Vivek Sagar Das Swami, traveling with my guru, noticed my steps in the middle of his katha discourse that evening in 1984 and drew the attention of all those present, including Swami Sri. Oh boy, he is walking his first steps in your presence. Look, Swami Sri. Though I have no recollection of this moment, I tried to relive it through the words of my parents and fellow community members, 
where my first steps were in the presence of someone who would continue to support me, comfort me, and guide me over the course of the next 32 years. I can, however, distinctly recall three interactions with my guru from 1988 onwards, which illustrate my guru's role in helping me up as I faltered on my journey. These three incidents shape the trajectory and govern the tone of this book. They helped me understand and reflect on the essence of Pramukh Swami Maharaj, the universal spiritual lessons that he personified. This one is called, I am sorry. In 1988, Pramukh Swami Maharaj was in New York during an eight month long spiritual journey across Europe, North America, South America, and Africa. I was not yet five years old but enjoyed sitting in the front row of the assemblies and quote unquote singing during my guru's morning prayer rituals. Swami Sri was kind enough to indulge and encourage me. One morning I sang in Swami Sri's morning prayers and received a warm applause from the guru and the community. It must have got to my head, as later that evening, I waltzed to the front of the sabha, the uh, spiritual gathering, with some of my toys in hand while Swami Sri was addressing the community. The show continued on both fronts. I talked and played while Swami Sri spoke. Swami Sri noticed me and several of the sadhus monks and bhaktas, devotees, hushed me to silence. I did not listen. Several minutes into my show, Swami Sri called out from the microphone in Gujarati, interspersed with broken English. Little one, look here. No talking. Sabha now. Everyone is listening. You too. I smiled and nodded. I forgot a few minutes later and was back at my childish play in front of the assembly of more than 1500 bhaktas, devotees, gathered for Swami Sri's darshan, a viewing or beholding of a spiritual deity from around the world. Swami Sri again spoke up on the microphone. Yogi? You sing such beautiful bhajans, devotional songs. Everyone listens. Why are you talking during the sabha? It is your turn to listen now. I am not sure if I stopped talking, but the guru continued with a smile on his face that evening. Swami Sri's voice rings in my ears often when I fail to listen to my peers or speak over them. It was his tone and the intent behind his words that inspire me even today. He was not angry, but rather calm enough to use it as a teachable moment. But the interaction would come full circle only on the next day when I would walk away with a lesson and memory of a lifetime. this memory and lesson of a lifetime. Let us read at a different part of this Sangha today, preferably towards the end. So I thank you all for listening to the first few pages of the introduction of In Love at Ease. I love how the author Yogi Trivedi at his literal first stops in front of Pramukh Swami Maharaj. Very symbolic. As I was reading, I thought, 
he was talking about his metaphorical first steps. And he was, no doubt. But then I realized he also meant it literally. <laughs> now, thank you to those who also sent a gift whilst I was reading. And yes, the next time we'll read is when it's Sky's bedtime. It'll be his bedtime story. <laughs> Very funny, Liz. Sky Guardian, you share that you were telling Yoki Bhai that everyone loves their book. He's like, it's Papa's book. He refuses to take credit. <laughs> it's so sweet. That's the uh, the author of the book that we've been reading in love at ease now, how wonderful that uh, you contacted him about that <laughs> it's Papa's book not mine <laughs> and indeed on the front cover you you will not find his name now it's on the spine however where is it there it is Yogi Trivedi Papa's book <laughs> 